Hey guys, this is Amitesh and today we will be pondering over the most expensive thing in the universe. And to much of your surprise, it is antimatter. It is so expensive that producing a single gram of it will bankrupt the economy of the whole world. Let me tell you friends, from where would you dish out 100 trillion US dollars just to produce a single gram of antimatter? Let me first tell you what antimatter is. It's just like normal matter, but with the opposite charge. Famous physicist Paul Dirac proposed its idea way back in 1964 when he predicted matter of opposite charge as a solution to Dirac equation. Just like a proton is positively charged particle, its counterpart antiproton is negatively charged particle. Just like an electron is negatively charged particle, its counterpart, the anti-electron or the positron, its positively charged particle. Rest all properties like mass, spin and even appearance of the antiproton and anti-electrons are just the same. Now, as I have introduced you about antimatter, let me tell you some strange facts about them. Perhaps the most significant among them is that when you bring matter and antimatter close to each other, they annihilate and destroy each other completely and result into pure energy. Remember E equal to MC squared? Oh yeah, Einstein, you rock. The total mass converts into energy in a big, big explosion. Let me tell you that even combining one gram of matter and antimatter can produce enough energy to power the entire United States of America for a day. Now the secret. Why is it so expensive to produce antimatter? Antimatter is produced in CERN's Large Hadron Collider during high energy particle collisions. Thus, the cost of production is very very high. Antimatter is identical to matter in gravitational properties. No, they don't have negative mass. Particle of antimatter is attracted to Earth the same way as matter does. The Big Bang should have created antimatter and matter in equal amounts. If that had been so, everything would have been just completely destroyed in, well, a bigger, a bigger bang. As far as scientists know, there must have been one teeny tiny extra particle for every billion matter-antimatter pairs. And this tiny matter has grown to a size, the scale of the universe. You could be surviving and producing positrons or anti-electrons right now. Don't worry though, they don't survive long enough to react with ordinary matter and become dangerous. Scientists argue that there can be whole galaxies made up of antimatter or even whole universes made up of them. We aren't sure at the moment. Imagine how it would be to meet someone from an antimatter galaxy. Except you will die the moment you shake up your hands. So, what do you think of antimatter? Any more topics to cover? Let me know in the comments below.